Coming up on Too Spooky For You, a Russian ghost hunter gets attacked, and did these Chinese investigators capture a full body apparition? All this and more in five ghost hunts with real paranormal evidence caught on camera. Number 5. Lady in Red The Chinese YouTube channel, Xia Long Adventure, features two friends that go out to random abandoned places to ghost hunt. On one such outing, they are investigating an abandoned building where everything is going smoothly at first, but about an hour into their investigation, one of them spots something chilling in the reflection of a window. You can almost spot what looks like someone wearing something red. He doesn't seem to notice it at first, since the camera seems to malfunction. Upon going back for a second look, the figure is still there, but this time more well defined. He definitely sees it this time, and reacts in a way I think most of us would, upon seeing something like this unexpectedly. <laughs> now, some might say that this is just a reflection of the wall outside the room, but upon inspection, they find nothing that could have caused this. They quickly go back to the window where they saw the reflection, and it's no longer there. A little bit later, the other guy seems to see something that scares him, and he begins shouting. This is enough to scare our would-be ghost hunters into leaving, and as soon as they get into their car, the other guy shows the footage he captured on his phone. A door can be seen opening by itself, and upon investigating the room, what appears to be the same apparition can be seen walking toward a window. So, did these explorers capture evidence of a woman haunting the property? Or could this just be a case of digital trickery? I'm gonna let you be the judge on this one. Number 4. Ghost in the Woods The YouTube channel Linfamous TV features a woman named Lynn, who chronicles her trips as an amateur paranormal investigator as she investigates supposedly haunted areas around her home state of New York. In one such video, she was investigating a wooded area with a friend on Long Island known as Mount Misery, as she heard that the land was supposedly cursed. They state a couple of times that they feel like something is out there with them, and are well into their investigation before Lynn captures something she couldn't explain. Lynn states she felt a cold spot, and pans the camera behind her to see if she can see anything. Got a cold spot. She then points the camera up to the trees, before panning back down and forward, when a figure can be seen for a second. Some people would say that this could be her friend, but watching beforehand, you can see that he is out in front of her on the path. That, and the figure can't be seen when she first pans the camera up. In an interview with The Mirror, she stated that she didn't see whatever it was when she was there, and only noticed it when editing the video for her YouTube channel. So what do you think Lynn caught on camera that night? Could it have been a ghost attached to the land due to some sort of curse? 
or is there a more logical explanation? Number 3. House of Evil Tim Morozov is a Russian YouTuber who ventures out to haunted places in hopes of capturing evidence of the paranormal. In one such video, he was investigating a house owned by one of his subscribers who had inherited the house after her parents died. She claimed that while living there alone, she began experiencing some strange activity, such as footsteps, objects moving, and knocking on the windows. It all came to a head one day when she woke up in the middle of the night feeling like someone was strangling her. After this happened, she moved to the city and left the house sitting empty since. She gave Tim the keys and he got to work, setting up cameras and various other equipment that ghost hunters often use. After setting up, he sits in a chair and just listens for anything out of the ordinary. After some time sitting in silence, he hears what sounds like some sort of growl. Right after hearing this, the chandelier above him begins to rock back and forth, which Tim fails to notice at first because he's hearing what sounds like footsteps in the next room over. He then sees it moving and focuses his chest camera on the phenomenon. He then attempts to get an EMF reading on the chandelier to see if there are any electromagnetic spikes, as many ghost hunters believe that high EMF readings can accompany paranormal activity. But as soon as he holds it up, the chandelier abruptly stops moving and his reader seems to be drained of power. He goes back to listening for EVPs when he begins hearing an intense clicking sound. He gets up to investigate, but it stops immediately and a ball seems to materialize out of nowhere and falls from the ceiling. Не похоже на понимание. While measuring the ball for EMF readings, he hears a creaking sound and moves to investigate. Небольшие показания, я бы сказал. finds a door to a room and decides to go in and find the source of the noise. When he does, something happens that scares him half to death. As soon as he goes to step in, another door violently rushes open. But that's not all this house has in store for Tim. He decides to investigate the room where the door opened, when some might say he was attacked by a paranormal entity. A chair suddenly comes sliding out towards him, causing Tim to lose his footing and fall, almost injuring himself. He is able to regain his composure and, determined not to let the house win, continues his investigation. So, was Tim being attacked by some unseen force? Or could it all be just one big hoax? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Number 2. Misty Stairway our next video comes from the YouTube channels Knots Explorer and Midlands Explorer. These channels, like the others, 
showcase abandoned and supposedly haunted places. In two of their videos, both friends are staying overnight at the supposedly haunted Bestwood Lodge Hotel in Nottingham, which is supposedly one of the top five haunted hotels in the UK. It is rumored that an actress and mistress of King Edward III by the name of Nell Gwen was killed on the property back in 1687 by being pushed down a stairwell on the property. At one point in the night, they get locked out of their room and Midland's explorer notices something odd. Liam! Yo! There's something here. There's something here covering the door. What the fuck? What? Where? No, that's the um, no, that's the thingy. No, bro. Where? What's covering the door? Watch. <gasps> Watch. Why is that blue? Exactly. And get a separate key. Right, guys, we've just been locked out of our room when I when I was when I was looking at. Some what appears to be some sort of ghostly mist can be seen blocking a small passageway to some stairs. They think it could just be the focus on their camera malfunctioning, but upon trying to get it to refocus, the strange mist still remains. At one point it appears that something moves through the mist, and the group reacts to it. It looks like um, smoke coming up, doesn't it? Yo. Yo. Did you just see what I just Did you see? see that? Yeah. So could this be some sort of manifestation of the ghost that haunt this hotel? Or could it have all just been a malfunction of the camera? Let me know what you think. Hey there, if you're enjoying this video, it would really help out a lot if you could click the like button, as it lets YouTube know to help other people find this channel. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want notifications for the next video I release. You can also follow me on Twitter at too spooky for you 5 If you want to be super awesome, you can also donate to my Patreon at too spooky for you yt With that out of the way, let's get to the last video. Number 1. Asylum Shadow The following video features a paranormal investigation group by the name of Beyond the Veil Investigations. On one of their outings, they are investigating the abandoned Penhurst Asylum, which used to be a quote-unquote institute for the feeble-minded, from 1908 until it ultimately shut down back in 1987. During its operation, it was infamous for the abuse and neglect of the poor souls that ultimately were sent to the asylum. Many people died on the property, and it has long been rumored to be haunted. During Beyond the Veil's investigation, they were walking down a corridor when their camera caught something they didn't notice until reviewing the footage. How's that hallway look? Awesome. What appears to be a shadow person can be seen standing at the end of the tunnel. When the two investigators move toward where it is, it seems to disappear. Now, could this be a spirit trapped within the walls of the infamous asylum? Or could this be a trick of the light? As always, I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, be sure to check out Beyond the Veil's YouTube channel, where they have a bunch of videos of all their investigations, as well as all the other channels featured in this list. And there you have it. Five ghost hunts with real paranormal evidence caught on camera. So what did you think of these clips? Would you ever consider going out ghost hunting? Or would it just be too spooky for you? Until next time. They do the normal YouTube ghost hunt thing by overreacting to every little noise. But there is one thing that they won't need to overreact to. Two times. Yeah, two times. Yeah. 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 Yeah.